Tensions continue to rise in the South China Sea following a recent clash between the Philippine Navy and China's Coast Guard. During the incident, Chinese personnel wielding machetes and spears injured Filipino Navy personnel and damaged two of their boats. The Philippines now vowing to fight back if the Chinese try anything like it again. Manila is demanding about $1 million from China for damages and the return of seized military equipment after a Filipino officer lost his thumb in the incident. Philippine officials reported that at least eight Chinese ships attacked while they were delivering supplies to their forces at the Second Thomas Shoal outpost. Both nations blame each other for provoking the clash, with China asserting that the Filipino vessels entered its territorial waters without permission. Philippines military chief general Romeo Bronner Jr. told a Chinese delegation Thursday that his forces will defend themselves with the same level of force if assaulted again. Manila announced that both sides agreed to de-escalate tensions while maintaining their stances, making progress on managing maritime situations, but said significant differences remain. This incident is part of the broader multi-nation dispute over the South China Sea involving Vietnam, Malaysia, Brunei, Taiwan, and China. The U.S. has reiterated its commitment to defend the Philippines, its oldest treaty ally in Asia. While the U.S. has no territorial claims, it has deployed warships and fighter jets to ensure freedom of navigation and reassure allies like Japan, which has its own disputes with China in the East China Sea. For Straight Arrow News, I'm Jack Almer. For more of our unbiased, straight fact reporting, download the Straight Arrow News app or visit us at san.com. Thank <laughs> you.